Why are zip holes painted red? Any avid ship spotter or someone who has been on board a commercial ship knows that these are often painted red below the waterline. Since the ship holes mostly remain underwater, one question that might be asked is, why red is the color of choice? Well, the reason lies simply in shipping tradition, O and worms. History Needless to say, up until 19th century, all ships were made out of wood. The latter half of 1800 saw unprecedented growth in the iron and steel industry, with iron and steel making its way into the shipbuilding industry. Sails were replaced by steam engines. The red color of hull traces its story back to the time before the Industrial Revolution. Being an organic compound and having a porous structure, wooden hulls were constantly subjugated to decay with wood-eating worms, barnacle, and seaweed fast-tracking the process. On top of that, slow ship speed and roof hulls prove it to be an ideal accelerator for the process. The speed of ship got considerably affected. The mage suffered by the hull due to the growth of marine organism increased the weight of the ship, thereby increasing drag. As a result, the ship speed also got affected considerably. Anti-fouling To counter the unprecedented growth of marine organism on the hull, the shipbuilders required something that could ward off immense outgrowth of marine life at the bottom of the hull. Here is where anti-fouling came into play. Anti-fouling has now emerged as one of the most important areas of research of modern shipbuilders and maritime bodies worldwide. The scientific method of design structure, coatings, and material to ward of marine growth of any submerged structure is called anti-fouling. Some of the earliest methods of anti-fouling comprise of placing copper sheets on the hull of the vessels. The copper siege serve as a barrier from the incoming marine organism largely worms from reaching the wooden hull. The copper seed that were used were actually red in color. This is what gave the hull its original reddish color. Modern Developments The advent of iron and steel reached the shipping industry and the things did change forever. Wooden hulls are known as antiquity, with iron ship being the bread and butter of the global supply chain. Nevertheless, the issue of drug being cast by marine and steel remains, with companies increasingly pressing on the cost effectiveness to maximize profit. Anti-fouling has emerged an extremely significant topic for the maritime sector. These days, ship hulls are painted with copper oxide bearing paints known as anti-fouling paint, none of which need to be red. But again, the shipping industry is unlike any other industry around. We believe in honoring nautical tradition as so we just red. Copper oxide has reddish tinge thus giving the paint its most famous red color. That is why ships are painted red below the hull. As the primary biocide, tree bottle tin or TBT serve as a deterrent against the growth of marine organisms on the ship hull even a few years back. But research showed the adverse effects TBT had on the marine ecosystem. These days, self eroding paints or self polishing polymers serve this purpose. These are environment-friendly paints which are engineered in such a way that it gets removed by water flow. Ship movement washes one layer of the self-eroding paint after another, which in turn prevents the outgrowth of any marine life on the surface of the ship hull. Bright color Another reason that can be traced in the contrast of the red hull to the seawater, which demonstrates if a lot of cargo is overweight. The more cargo a ship is carrying, the deeper it enters the water. In the same context of contrast, the red color at sea can be very easily captured by passing by helicopters in case of an emergency.